guys, Shane Sarms with DroidModerX.com. Today we're going to be unboxing the HTC One M8. Now, I understand it's already out of the box, uh, but I went through a lot of trouble to get this, so when they finally decided to sell this phone to me, um, I didn't ask any questions. I went on ahead, let them take it out of the box, let them activate it, I let them do whatever they wanted to. I went to one Verizon store and they gave me a whole list of reasons why they could not sell a new device to a loyal customer like myself. Of course, this made me very angry, but I kept my cool. I divorced the salesperson and asked for their manager. The manager gave me the same story that they could not sell a new device to a loyal customer. It had to be to someone that was either uh, converting to the Edge program or somebody that was upgrading their service. So I could do a whole rant video about my experience buying the HTC One, but that's why it's out of the box. So I'm gonna put it back in the box. We're gonna take it out of the box and uh, we're gonna do my first impressions on this amazing phone. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take this device out of its box. So we'll pull off the uh, decorative sleeve and we'll set that to the side. Um, you guys can see it's just a plain white box. If you look at the sleeve, you've got some specs on the back and then it also gives you the package contents and some other information. This is the 32 gigabyte model. There is no 16 gigabyte model. At least Verizon's not selling one. Um, there's also, well, we'll get into the rest of it later, but there's some other exciting things about the memory on this device. So we'll go ahead and take uh, the top cover off. We'll pop the lid. And here we have the device. This is what we've all been waiting for. I like this little insert that you can just pick up and flip out. It makes it really awesome and easy to get it out of the box itself. So there's the device. And we'll just go ahead and set that to the side for now. We'll take a look and see what else is in the box. Pull out this little package here. And this has all of our reading material, uh, none of which we will read. And then we have our SIM card extractor uh, right there as well. Okay, next we've got our AC adapter, our wall plug. And there's a USB port on the back for our USB cable. Nice. A decent size USB cable for charging. So that those to the side. And then we have some really fancy, really fancy headphones. So HTC has been pretty good about including nice headphones. These do not have the Beats by Dre logo because, uh, as you all know, Beats by Dre is no longer affiliated with HTC. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set the box to the side and get back to the star of the show. Now, like I said before, this was already unboxed and activated and everything else because of all the hoops I had to jump through. Actually, I went to another store, the second store I went to. They asked no questions. They just sold me the phone outright. No problems, uh, no questions asked. But like I said, that's maybe for another video if you want to hear of the charades that I had to go through to get this phone. Let me know in the comments. But we'll go ahead and power it up. And while it powers on, I will go ahead and run through some of the specs. So as you guys can see, you've got a 5-inch 1080p display that puts out 441 pixels per inch. So it's a very high-resolution display, just as pretty and clear as the M7, uh, but even more clear. You'll notice a few things. Wow, that booted very fast. Incredibly fast. Um, as far as the camera, you've got two sensors here. And what's strange here is that we have a 4 megapixel camera in the back, 5 megapixel in the front. So the camera in the front shoots 1080p, camera in the back also shoots 1080p. This is the 4 megapixel twin sensor dual LED camera. I've heard lots of people saying that the camera is not so great on this device. I've not had a chance to play with it myself. Uh, the front facing camera seems to do well. So the only camera on this phone that I've really played around with is the front facing camera. Uh, my wife and I took a few selfies with one another, and I will say that that camera has performed well enough for me. Uh, image quality seemed to be pretty good. You're not going to find any lag at all on this device. It is running the Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 that's clocked at 2.3 gigahertz, so it is very quick, very fast. You guys saw how fast it booted up. Internally, you've got 32 gigabytes of storage, and you do have a micro SD card slot. Uh, so that's one thing that everyone has been pumped about is the micro SD card slot. You can see it right there on the side. Uh, unfortunately, there is no removable battery, just like on the M7. We cannot pop the back like you can on the Galaxy devices. So we're not going to see any extended batteries for this or any battery backups. Uh, maybe some battery cases, but no removable battery. 
That being said, the battery is 2600 milliamp hours. So that's good for 292 hours of standby time. Uh, so basically, you just leave your phone turned on forever as long as you don't use it. Uh, Verizon stating that on 3G, you'll get 720 minutes. Actually, no, I think that's on 4G. Um, you should get significantly more time on 3G. Of course, this does feature the HTC Boom Sound. So you've got two awesome speakers. That was my favorite thing on the M7 was the Boom Sound. Uh, that being said, it seemed like uh, those speakers on the M7 were prone to blow if you played too much bass on them. So uh, just be a little weary of that. I'm guessing this is the exact same Boom Sound that we had with the M7. Not had really a great chance to try that out. Uh, but the speakers, as far as I have used them, they sound great. They sound awesome. They're louder than any other phone on the market. Of course, what separates them from other speakers, they are on the front of the device. So you're not having to cup your hand behind the device uh, like so to get adequate sound. Um, then again, they also have the amplifiers built into the speakers themselves, which helps, helps to push that sound out, uh, making it sound a whole lot fuller. Okay, so another really cool thing about this device is that the SIM is unlocked. This is a Verizon phone, and I can get Verizon 4G, but I can also get LTE uh, 4G on T-Mobile. Put an AT&T SIM inside of this phone, I'll also be able to get HSPA+, Plus, which is not exactly LTE, but it is pretty stinking fast. So that is also pretty cool about this phone, is you can carry it around internationally if you're a globe trotter you will be able to insert a SIM in whatever foreign country and be able to use this phone out of the box. You won't have to carry it to Verizon to get them to unlock the SIM for you. Uh, so that is pretty awesome. Okay, so some of the features. You have Blink Feed once again. Uh, this is your news application. It is kind of Flipboard style, but you can add um, news from your favorite sources and just stay up to date on your news. So that's an awesome feature that's included in HTC Sense. And... You do have the TV mode. This is another one of my favorite Sense applications. It basically turns your phone into a remote control. Uh, you do have your IR blaster up at the top here. Um, the AT&T remotes that come with Uverse are super stupid cheap, and you have to point them directly at the set-top box. This, however, you do not have to point directly at the set-top box. Amazingly enough, it is a little more sensitive than my Uverse remote. Uh, so I've found really great use for this application. Of course, you do have all the awesome camera features. There are so many, uh, really too many to cover. And maybe if I did a full review, uh, we would cover more of them. But you have normal mode, slow motion, uh, fast full HD, 60 frames per second. Uh, you can change the ISO like on uh, my Canon DSLR, which is pretty cool. Um, they have the EV setting. So there are several modes in the camera. You have selfie mode, uh, you have just regular camera, dual capture. <clears throat> so I guess that makes use of, uh, you can capture yourself and also use the back camera. So I guess if you were taking a video of somebody, uh, if you were taking a video of somebody or something, you would be able to include yourself there as well. Okay, there's also video mode. There's panorama mode, three, 360 degrees. And this is really cool. Uh, we took one of these the other day, and when it's all complete, you can kind of move your phone around and see, like, the entire room, which is really cool. Uh, this is even better, in my opinion, than what Google gave us with the 360 camera that they have. And then there's the uh, Zoe camera. So quickly, uh, another few things about the cameras. Uh, the dual cameras allow you to capture more depth and light. It also allows you to use the U-Focus feature, which helps you to focus on objects. You can add dimension with uh, the Dimension Plus. It allows you to add 3D style to your pictures. Okay, the Zoe feature picks out your top images and creates a 30-second slideshow, which is pretty cool. Okay, quickly we can talk about the design of the phone. This is an all-metal design. So the entire body of the phone is metal. Uh, which makes it pretty durable. I saw a video where a guy stuck this thing in the sink for, I guess it was two hours or three hours, and the phone worked perfectly afterwards. I would not suggest doing that, but it just tells you how awesomely built this phone is. It's not going to be as susceptible to dust or uh, water. It should be water resistant. It's not waterproof, obviously, so don't go and stick this in your sink or whatever. 
Uh, but you can see the edges are tapered, which give it a very thin look. Uh, it looks a whole lot thinner than it actually is. It's fat in the middle, thin on the edges, so when you're holding it to your phone, people are going to think it's much thinner than it actually is. Of course, this is the gunmetal gray. You've got the HTC logo here, the Verizon logo on top. We've got our IR blaster, our power button. Uh, on the side, we've got our SD card slot. On the bottom, we have the USB port and also the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. We've got the volume up and down, and then there is the SIM card slot. On the back, we've got our dual cameras and our dual sensors. On the front, we have our front-facing 5 megapixel camera. We have a sensor. We've got two boom sound speakers and an HTC logo uh, there at the bottom. We do have software buttons. That's new in Sense 6.0. And we'll go ahead and go into settings real quick, just to kind of see what we're working with. Go to About, Software Information. Uh, we're running Android version 4.4.2, so this is KitKat. It launches with KitKat, which is pretty cool. And we have HTC Sense version is 6.0. So overall, I have to say this is a pretty awesome device. I'm excited uh, to finally get a chance to play with this device. It's been hyped for quite a while. And I was glad that I was able to pick it up at Verizon the day after release. So you guys can expect many more videos on this device. As soon as there's a root method, I'll have a video for that. If it becomes unlocked, uh, if the bootloader becomes unlocked, I'll be sure to include a video. Uh, Bopes did mention something on XDA about the unlocked bootloader. Actually, he said nothing at all, but he did chime in uh, with a quick little hello. And that's pretty much all he said. So... Um, maybe he's working on it, maybe he's not, maybe we'll have the S off soon, maybe we won't. Uh, but as soon as we have it, you guys will find out about it here. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. You can comment below, uh, let me know if you want to see that rant video, my experience buying this phone from Verizon. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the near future, more content on the HTC One N8. You can find more of me at DroidMotorX.com, I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Also be sure to share this video, it helps me more than you know and I really do appreciate it. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.